It's Wednesday. Don't mind me. I'm just watching this crazy fucking movie on Netflix called, Netflix called Bushwick. Um, it's kind of crazy with Batista and Britney Snow. Anyway, I digress. It's about football. But <clears throat> it's Wednesday. It's review day. Preview day. <sighs> Over at Seattle Bowl. Um, we need to be focused. And it's time to beat the Rams. Um, um, let me pull this. This shit's too good. So, Carson Wentz, he's got to be on point. Um, if he was just play, if he played better last game, we could have won. Regardless of the refs and all that. Because we had the same situation in Carolina when we were, both teams were 4 and 1. Refs were against us, we still won. So, I expect Carson Wentz to come out better, um, more aggressive, um, smarter, just getting shit done. Um, and I expect Doug Peterson to be normal Dougie, um, and aggressive, going down the field, running the ball, not having your quarterback throw 45 times a game again. Um, and give the ball to Ajayi, um, did I, did I say that often? Give the ball to Ajayi. Uh, I'm not sure why he's not getting the ball that often. Um, and regardless of how, how I mean, we, we need to run the ball. We, Carson can't throw 45 times a game, especially when he's off. So we need to run that ball. Defense has to be better. Um, we're not facing Russell Wilson this week, so we don't have to worry about scrambling 30 yards back, finding people up and down the field, flinging all that. No. Jared Goff does have an arm, and he is good. He is accurate. Um, he is athletic, can run, but he's not Russell Wilson. Um, and I feel like without Robert Woods, we 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 can really take this game. Um, it's still going to be tough. That D-line is crazy. They got Aaron Donald. I mean, shit. Wish we had him. Um, him and Fletcher guys together. But um, the O-line has to be on top of their shit. Cannot let that D-line wreck this game. Cannot. Um, I feel like if Ertz is missing, this is a big game for Aguilar and Alshon. Um, those, those, the, the wide receivers, they've been pretty good this year, but they have not taken over a game. And that's something we're going to need down the stretch and in the playoffs to help Carson out. Um, he's still a young quarterback. He's only in his second year. So we have to help him. Um, he's got to be smarter, but coaches and players have to be better than they were in Seattle. Um, the corners, they got to be on point. You got Watkins. Um, they got a rookie, Josh Reynolds. He's pretty good. I was one, I wanted us to draft him, but uh, we got Matt Collins, and I love Mac. Um, who else? Tyler Higby, a rookie tight end. He's pretty good. Um, do you still got Tavon Austin and Todd Gurley, of course. That whole offense goes through Todd Gurley. So if we could shut down Todd Gurley and force Jared Goff to beat us with his arm, can he do that? I'm not sure. I'm not sure, honestly. He's only a second-year quarterback. Does he have the weapons to do that? I guess we'll find out. So, Eagles fans, I said this a few weeks ago. Y'all need to take over the fucking stadium, okay? Take over... The Rams Stadium, show up, show out, and do what you did against the Chargers. And um, that should be a good game. Um, other than the Saints and the Falcons, I would say our game is game of the week. Um, sure, you got the Ravens and the Steelers, but, I mean, they always play tough matchups. And then um, the Seahawks and the Jags, I'm kind of looking forward to. But this is the marquee game of the week. Two NFC um Match up two NFC teams, second year quarterbacks, both kind of building similarly. Um, and playoff hunt, trying to get the number one seed. So it's time for our team to show up. Um, if y'all really want to get this number one seed and get to the Super Bowl, win out. Just win out. Because the Vikings, we can't count on them to, to, to lose. So we need to win out. Um, so once you need to like throw for 300, Alshon need to go off. Um, Aggie, hello. 141 last game, he need to go off. 
Burton need to go off. Everybody need to go off. Everybody need to step up. I'm not even going to do bold predictions. I just want us to get the fucking win. Um, get, just get the win. I don't care how we do it. No fumbling. Don't be throwing picks. Like, no stupid penalties and these stupid, these stupid fucking penalties. Like, ugh, y'all are killing us. And we need special teams. We need, we need a kick return. We need some good field position. We need all that. We need everything to beat this team. Um, it's going to be a good one. And, um, I, I just hope that these Vikings fans, I just, please don't, please just don't, just don't. And then the Cowboys fans, y'all, why y'all even still talking to me? Why are you even still, don't, why are you even on my videos anymore? Just stop. Just, just, I'm just going to enjoy this Wednesday, put my movie back on, and make my lunch and go to work. All right? Um, Bird Gang, show up. If I, I wish I could go to Cali, because if I could, I would, I'd be all up in that bitch. But, um, I need y'all to represent. I'm going to be at home. We're going to be kicking it. We're going to be fucking, I'm going to be ready. This team better be ready. I know they can bounce back. I know they will bounce back. I don't see this team having two bad games like that in a row. Um, I mean, shit, the, the last loss kicked off a nine-game win streak, so you never know. We only need seven games. Um, that's all I'm going to say, but we only need to win more, seven more games, and we champions. So, Eagles, start with this one, beat the Rams. And let's go back to New York, fuck the Giants up, and then went out at home. All right, Bird Gang, out.